Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about line chart and area chart. I will go through these points. First, purpose of these charts, how we can create these charts in Power BI, different formatting options, and lastly, I will talk about some of the real time examples based on my experience. Let's understand the purpose of these charts. Purpose of line and area charts are to display historical trends across time. So there is an option to use secondary y-axis. Very shortly I will show you. The purpose of area chart is similar with the line chart but the area chart represents the area between the axis and the line is filled in with colors to show the volume. So uh, these are some purpose of this line chart and area chart. Now we are going to learn how we can create this line chart and area chart and stacked area chart in Power BI. I have already imported this US Superstore data. You can find out this data set from this GitHub link and I will provide all those links in the description section. Let us create one page first. First you need to select this line chart from this visualization pane. For x axis, I am going to select this order date and by default this order date hierarchy will be selected. Now in the y axis, I am going to select this sales value. So in this graph, we can observe sales trend by year. Okay. Now we are going to add some legend. Let me add category. Now you can observe sales trend by year and category wise. So it is divided into three lines based on these three categories. So this is one example. Let me copy this graph again. And this time I am going to remove this category. Instead of category in the secondary y axis, I am going to select this profit. So this is our first y-axis and this is our secondary y-axis. You can observe both this axis value range are different. Here we can observe the sales trend and here we can observe this profit trend. And in the x-axis we have year value. So in the same graph you can find out the sales trend by year as well as profit trend by year. Now we are going to check how these multiples options are working. First, I will copy this graph again and paste it, move it here and, and keep this category in the legend section. I will add this ship mode in this small multiple section and here is the example. There are for ship mode. So based on this for ship mode, it has been divided into four different small graphs. And from the each graph, we can observe the sales trend by year, category wise and the ship mode wise. So in the same graph, we are using three categorical value and one measure value. So in this way, you can explore this line chart more. Now we are going to proceed with area chart. What I will do, I will just copy this page, just duplicate this one. I am going to replace this line chart with this area chart so that you can observe the difference. Here in the area chart, we have all the same information except here between this axis and this line, it is showcasing the volume, okay? In a similar way, let me convert this graph to area chart. This is a, another example. In the area chart also, we can use secondary y-axis. And in the similar way, it is showcasing the volume of this data. Also, you can change it to 
area chart and you can observe the difference. So, I hope till now it is clear what is line chart and what is area chart. Now we are going to explore stacked area chart. For that I am going to create another page and click on this stacked area chart. Here is some difference. What is that? Here we have x axis, y axis, legend and small multiples. You can observe here we don't have secondary y axis. That means in stacked area chart we cannot use secondary y axis. So in the similar way also we can select order date. Also uh, let us understand the sales value and for the legend purpose we can use category. So here is the example of this stacked area chart. Now uh, maybe it is uh, in your mind then why you are going to use this stacked area chart and the normal area chart. Let us see the difference side by side. So this is my stacked area chart. Let us copy this and paste it. Now convert this stacked area chart with normal area chart. Here is the difference. Here you can observe in this normal area chart this line trend is following okay and this area is covering. So sometimes the user is not able to understand what is the trend exactly. But in the stacked area chart it is very clear to observe the trend. So here is some difference between stacked area chart and this area chart. And also in the stack area chart we cannot use this secondary y axis whereas in the area chart we can use that. So based on your project requirement you have to decide which one you are going to use. Now for the line chart let us explore some of the formatting options and this formatting options are similar for this area chart and stack area chart also. In the x axis we can change it to continuous graph or categorical information and if it is a date column you can provide some minimum range and this maximum range. Also you can change this um, uh, font option for these values, title you can change and this is for the y axis in the similar way you can change all those value and if you have the secondary axis you can get the similar option, legend option and everything. Here this lines option you can select the line style like solid, dash or dotted. In this way you can do some formatting. Also in the general section where we have some of the properties of the graph size, position, title and effect, tooltip and alt text. So these are all some formatting options. I hope you can explore it uh, whenever you are doing some practice. I've seen in one project where we can display the data instead of continuous way displaying as categorical way. Let me give some example. Let me select this line chart and I have created some dummy data. So I'll just select this day and this number of case count. So this is one by default line chart will be there and here this day number that means day 2, day 4, day 6, day 8, day 10 and 12. So I have data from 1 to 12. So data is displaying in a continuous manner. But it is a daily data. Some of the users maybe they want the record in a categorical way. What does it mean by this? Like day 2 we have some data. What is the data for day 3? They want to display it. They are not going to do this mouse over. For example, in presentation purpose, they can select this view and paste it in their PowerPoint presentation. Then how we can change that? Just go to this format visual and in the x axis from the continuous to categorical. And by default, this uh, shorting option will not be there. You need to do this shorting based on your requirement. So I will just select J and this ascending order. So 
here you can observe day 1 1 record day 2 day 3 day 4 so I have all the 12 days information now if you want to display the data how will you do that just select this graph go to format section and select this data label now all your information has been displayed if you want to change something position now you can change the position just select above and it will be displayed so in this way you can explore this line chart whether it's a daily chart or weekly chart or monthly chart so based on your requirement you can change it to different options i hope you like this video now you can explore these charts in power bi and try to do more practice if you like this video please subscribe my channel comment and share with your friends thank you thanks for watching